Okay hey guys, so this lesson, we're gonna talk about charge distribution and the lightning rod. So, and as you think from the nose, that charge likes to distribute with pointy surfaces, okay? So if I have a surface, whatever surface it is, so if you have a surface that look like this shape, and because this shape is very pointy over here, for some reason, the charge is like to accumulate over here. And then here you will have some charge, have some charge, but this bit has the most amount of charge, okay? And you, why is that? We don't really know, like, I mean, I don't even know. So it doesn't matter, but they like to <clears throat> accumulate over here, okay? Maybe there's a party over there. All right, so if it's negative charge, same thing, and it will be not so negative charge over here, and then it's gonna be positive charge, even if it's stupid, <clears throat> okay? And so this only works basically uh, mostly with uh, conductors because the electrons can move. So well, a lot of the other things that electrons can't move. So then we don't talk too much about it, but, but mainly uh, with conductors, okay? So if you think about the earth, the earth is basically a conductor because there's, there's water in it. So if you've got a tree, tree normally is the insulator, but in terms of raining, like so there's a lot of water in it, so it becomes a conductor as well. So if you've got a tree look like this shape, and then say, once you have a lot of cloud coming, <clears throat> so a cloud could be a positive charge or a negative charge. So why does cloud have charges? Because when during storm and lots of the clouds are moving, and then when rub against each other, some cloud will become positively charged and some cloud will become negatively charged. Okay. So say if this cloud <clears throat> is gonna be a positive cloud. Uh, let's say you use negative cloud. That's the one we see the most. And because this is negative, it's gonna push the electrons away. So push the electrons away from the tree going down to the earth. So the electrons gonna move away. If electrons move away, now over here, it's gonna start to have a positive charge, okay? And then the light, the electrical will try to go neutralize this. Uh, positive charge, that's why a lightning happened, okay? All right, the opposite could happen as well. Say if you have a positive charge over here, a positive cloud, and then you have a tree over here, kind of same thing. And then positive charge is gonna attract the electron. So electrons, it's gonna go from the earth, it's gonna come to here, and they go upward. So now this will become lots of electrons over here. And eventually there's so many electronegative charge, so many positive charge, these electrons will jump across the cloud and then going upwards to neutralize the positive cloud, okay? So both of these can exist. So it, uh, lightning can go downwards to Earth and then it can go upwards, okay? So most of the situation we see are these clouds, so cloud, uh, electrons jumping down. And the reason for that is because these clouds normally they're a bit lower, lower, and these clouds are a little bit higher. Okay, so if these clouds are higher over here, say the positive uh, over here, so sometimes it happens is the lightning actually does not hit the ground. The lightning actually could hit the cloud. So it could go up here, you feel like that. Or it could go sideways to electron will jump into that one. So lightning can hit the ground or going up from the ground up to the cloud or most of the time, it actually just the cloud electrocute itself, okay? So that is the transfer of electrons over there. Okay, so if you want, you can write a bit of notes about this to uh, write down. I have the notes in my notes, so but if you want to say, oh, I want to write all these different situations, so you can write these down as well, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna quickly talk about the lightning rod. <laughs> okay, for the lightning rod, So I, what I'll do is I'll draw two situations as well. So over here, this is gonna get buried into the earth, okay? So we draw this sign, long, short, a little bit shorter. This means buried into the earth. We actually have one in the physics department, a uh, block uh, outside of the uh, SP3. So, but we can't go see it now. Okay, so it buried there. Why does it bury there? Two situations. The cloud could be positive or the cloud could be negative. Okay, and same reason, positive is gonna attract electron. And we've talked about before, the Earth 
is a reservoir for electrical charge. Okay, lots of electron in there, and it can take the electron as well. It's always neutral. So when the electrons coming upward, being attracted, then the negative charge accumulates over here. So big charge and big voltage over here. Okay, so two things happen. So the electrons can jump. onto the water particle in air. Okay, if it jumps onto the water particle, now you've got a lot of water droplets that become negative. And this negative will be able to slowly to go up to neutralize the positive. I'll say these negative. Okay, so well, why does it go up, go upwards? That's because the opposite charge attract. Okay, I'm not gonna write that anymore. So we all know that now. Okay, so in this way, there's a less chance of a, of a lightning because for lightning to happen, it needs to be so many charge, so many charge over here. Then that's when lightning happens. But slowly it goes up to neutralize. So the, that will help the situation. Okay, and then the second one is if there is a lightning. If lightning strike, it will hit the lightning rod. Instead of the building. <laughs> okay, so in this case, it's not the positive charge is going to jump onto here, rather the electron is going to move from the rod up there instead of moving from the building up there, okay? Say so the electrons will move from the pointing a point to clouds. That's because there's more uh, attraction over there. Okay, and then so if we look at this situation, same situation, electrons, that's gonna push the electrons away, push the electrons away, and once it pushes it away, now this is gonna become positive charge. If this has become positive charge, it could make the water molecule to become positive charge. If water molecule becomes positive charge, it can go up to neutralize the electrons, okay? So there's less chance, same thing over here, you can write that the same one, it will help neutralize the, the, the cloud, so there's a less chance for, uh, for lightning. And then again, if lightning happening, this is positive, this is negative, so the lightning is gonna be attracted to here. So the electron will jump onto the rod and then over here, okay? All right, and then sometimes you might see a question, they might ask you this. They say, well, why does the lightning rod need to be a conductor? Well, it has to be conductor, so it's easy to for 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 electricity to flow away, for electron to fall or flow. Okay. If it's easy to flow, and then the lightning will hit the the lightning will hit the rod. Okay. All right. And another reason is why is it buried in the land, on the ground?
Why is it buried on the ground? And they sold the electron because the Earth can neutralize and take away. Say, because the Earth can neutralize. The lightning rod. So electrons can flow into the earth or flow. So this is the reason why it has to be a conductor. So it's very easy to hit here. It's very easy for them to go away and have to bury it in land. And normally burying land, we bury it quite deep. We don't just bury it on the surface. If we bury it on the surface, maybe when there's a human here, it can, uh, it can electrocute the human as well. If it's very deep, it's just gonna go in deep into the earth, okay? All right, so yeah. So that's it about charge distribution and how we can use it. Uh, so, these are the kind of questions you're going to be dealing with, okay? All right, so hope that all makes sense. And send me an email if there's any question and you would like me to explain, and I'll make a video out of it, okay? All right, in the meantime, have a good day. All right, see you guys.